I'm sitting around in the office doing absolutely nothing but learning the computer system and somebody mentions that they've got a medical office that is looking to sell. Does anybody want it? Now you rarely hear that in a real estate agency. Someone standing up says, does anybody want a medical office? I'm looking around and nobody's answering. She says, yes, of course I want a medical office. I've sold nothing. I'll take it, I'll take it. Medical office after valuation is all of $130,000, but crucially important to this doctor who's retiring. It was a very big part of his uh, retirement portfolio. A little bit of guilt because part of me said he really needs to be with a tried and true broker. Now remember, I've sold nothing. I've listed nothing. Quite frankly, the only medical office I'd ever been in was my gynecologist's office. So with my $150,000 sale, I marched into Fred uh, Peters and said, Fred, I'm your medical office specialist. Fred looks at me over his glasses and he said, one sale does not make you a specialist, my dear. And I said, oh, but Fred, I'm the only one here that sold the medical office, so I am indeed your specialist. And I guess he liked my energy. He said, I'll tell you what, I'll give you four ads in two months time. You can pick when you want them to run. After that, if you don't have another medical office in contract, you're no longer a specialist. What I had not expected was I began to get calls from other doctors in other buildings. And these were doctors in prominent Fifth and Park Avenue buildings. They had Mason at floors and they were doctors of a certain age that were all looking at retirement and a big piece of their portfolio was this valuable piece of real estate in, a very, in very significant buildings on Park and Fifth Avenue. So I went in to meet with them as a medical office specialist and by then I was. I understood the data. I understood where to find the, the buyers and the partners. I understood then where to market and advertising. And soon I was selling in Park Avenue and Fifth Avenue buildings very, very quickly in my career. This was in the first year. And I truly believe in specialization. It worked for me. And what I believe is find something that you do really well in this industry, herald it, put your name on it, and fly with it.